but it's it's interesting about Bitcoin, man. It's just shrouded in in, in so many different. Good morning, guys. 8.04 a.m., the 20th of March, episode five of What the Bitcoin. You just meet her real fast. I think that'll be fun. Oh, come on. You're okay. You're okay. Do you walk them? Uh, yeah, I walk. And every morning, I go out with my camera and her trying to get footage. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we go to a different part of Houston. But hey, what's your uh, what's your name? My name is Zanrell. Zanrell? Yes, sir. Joshua, nice to meet you this nice morning, Zanrell. How's, how's it going? Pretty great, man. Pretty great. How's your workout? It's going pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, okay. Yeah. I don't I'm not too much for waking up early, but I gotta get it, get through it. Yes, nice candidate for uh, to ask you about Bitcoin, man. What do you think about Bitcoin? Uh, well, I'm limited on what I know about it, but I do feel like they, they're pushing it to become the new wave of, you know what I mean, um, future version of currency, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and is that from the media or friends that are talking to you about it? Um, I do have some. I do have some friends that that invested in it in the past. Okay, are they still vested? Do they talk about it? Um, not not so much now. At okay. that time they did when it was on the rise, but I don't know if it's growing as much as it used to. I think it has like a spike every once in a while, but Yeah. You know, was that back in 2017 when they were talking about yeah, it a lot? 2017. When it spiked to like 17, 2500 near 3000. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know what it's currently trading at? No, I don't. It's at $57,000 a coin. In 2021. <laughs> Yeah, so like you said, it goes up, it goes down, but where are we at now? So some people might lose, but I would take it if it drops hard. Yeah. I'd probably tell somebody maybe they should invest in it at that moment. Yeah, yeah, and like. While it's already high. No, it's it's all time highs right now. It's yeah, never been so this high ever. You're not going to really get much out of it. Okay, so you think there'll be a time when it does what it did in 2017, falls more or less on its nose and gives people another re-entry window of some sort. I think it would. Okay, and then what do you think the uh, future of Bitcoin looks like? I think uh, I think it's gonna be around. I mean, just crypto in, in itself, I guess. I'm, not, I'm guessing Bitcoin will be considered a version of crypto. Yeah, definitely. No, Bitcoin um, is like what made crypto. Made yeah. crypto, yeah. yeah. I, think, uh, I think that's what it, they hit with it now. Okay. Yeah. And then, do you hear much about it outside of from your friends, or or the, where do you hear about it these days outside of me asking you today? Um, only, only I don't hear it too much outside. I only hear people that's looking to invest in something. Okay. You know? And then, if you had to tell um, maybe someone that was just walking up to you, hey man, I just heard about this Bitcoin thing on the news. Should I get into this? What what should I think about it? I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't invest in it without research. Yeah. Because it's not really, you know what I mean. That, yeah, we got we talking about all of this happened before COVID. Yeah, and you know what I mean, elections and everything. So when you mix in politics with what we got going on as far as COVID and everything, I can go anywhere. There's a lot of variables, is what you're saying that anything I mean, could can, blow up. Yeah, it can go. It can be good or bad. Cause um, I mean, I know when COVID was there, like, I'm from Louisiana. Actually. Okay. I've been here like two months. Oh and, wow. Um, Hope it's been treating you well. It's been treating me well. Okay, happy to hear. But I know at that time, that was places where I was back home that wasn't taking cash. You know what I mean? So everything was just credit or debit and, you know, telling if that's going to, you know what I mean, transition into yeah. something else, you know, because I guess for COVID reason, trying to be, you know. So I definitely would, oh. <laughs> no, you're good, you're I good. I definitely would say, um. Come here. I, I probably I mean, wouldn't invest in it. Yeah. You know what I mean, unless it's a short thing. But okay. No. And then uh, on an exit piece today, uh, moving forward, do you think that uh, Bitcoin will be the forever crypto, or do you think that maybe another cryptocurrency will come and take the top spot, or? I think another version will come. Okay. Kind of. Sometimes when, when something stands, I, I feel like what the game is is always a newer version. Oh, yeah. Something could be okay. the same people behind it, but yeah. when you name people kind of hype on the hype. Yeah. Like crypto was probably more of a hype. Definitely. And then people jump on it. You know, we no different than, I mean, Lyft and Uber. About Bitcoin, Luke, please, you're going to make editing a really hard time. Do you feel that Bitcoin is just an outright scam, or do you think it's just a technology that's emerging and people have interest, and that's the reason for the price increase? Or I would say it's a technology that's emerging. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say it's a scam, but I think they're pushing it a little bit 
further along than what it really yeah. is at the moment. Okay. But technology is just kind of what it is right now. So if I could walk that through like a dialogue track and then you could give me a yes or a no if I understood what you meant, uh -huh. that it's not a scam. The underlying technology of blockchain is what's driving the curiosity and bringing the price point up to what it's at. Exactly, yeah. It's like a bunch of people that are bringing new technology to the world and... Uh, and I got work for uh, ADT smart homes. We install smart yeah. homes and stuff, not just security and pretty much that's the new wave now. You Have know? you heard anybody talking about Bitcoin there? Um, no, but when I used to work for Cox Communications, the guys I worked there invested in it. Okay, those are those are the guys yeah, that were talking about it. I mean, the same difference. We did smart homes and that type of okay. technology. Okay, yeah. Because, I mean, it's just kind of the future. Okay, kind of way, you know? yeah. And then uh, about how old are you? I'm 33. 33? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you first heard about Bitcoin when you are about 29, 30 years old, three years ago. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Zenrel, Joshua, okay. very nice, nice to, to get your acquaintance this morning, yeah, man. Yeah. I don't know if we're there yet. That feels <laughs> that feels so good to do that. Blue, shh, we'll get back to the walk. Thank you okay, so much for that information this morning, man. Hey, do you own Bitcoin, man? We are on the way. Galveston, I-45 South. Hitting the causeway now. Beautiful view. And I will see you there shortly. What was that? I mean, we're recording now, but please, if you feel free to share that story. Tell me about that when we ease into Bitcoin, man. All right, I, I guess somehow rap, like rap piss and shit is combined with Bitcoin in some way. Um, just to just to verse you guys, I came out here all the way to Galveston today, an hour and a half drive, and I forgot my windscreen. Uh, what was your name again? My name is Benjamin, sir. Uh, we're joined today with Benjamin. Um, he was nice enough to join us here in the Walmart parking lot. And he was just telling me a, a little bit of a story about his foreigner here where he managed to get some rat piss and shit. Yeah, well, left some flour tortillas in the underneath the seat of the car and the beautiful gods, beautiful creatures came in and they <laughs> piss and shit all over, the, all over the car, got underneath the insulation of the car. And therefore, I have to replace the damn carpet and the damn insulation. So, how did, where were you at when that happened? Shoot, man, I, this happened in San Antonio. San Antonio, <laughs> no kidding. Well, hey, I appreciate you joining me today, Benjamin. I'm gonna ask you some generals about Bitcoin. What do you think of Bitcoin? Do you own Bitcoin? Just, just tell me about it. You know. Do not own Bitcoin. However, I remember, you know, uh, like the initial stages of people buying up graphics cards okay and just uh mining just mining bitcoin uh and give me a time frame on that i would say that's around uh 2017 2018 yeah, yeah. around that time when it started pumping um but it's it's interesting about bitcoin man it's just shrouded in in, in so many different you know different I don't know perceptions of it. Yeah, uh, you kind of got the. Um, I, I wouldn't say that they're necessarily politically aligned or whatever, but you got the people that are scared of buying Bitcoin because they think this is some way uh, the FCC is going to regulate a dig digital currency. Yeah, and then you have people uh, who are predicting the next market crash. Yes. And, you know, and because of all the uh, inflation, which is going to probably hit because of the on the stimulus package. Yes. Uh, people are, I guess, trying to go up and buy Bitcoin because that's going to be a currency that's, it's I believe it's blockchain, right? Yes, yes, that's the that's the underlying technology. Yeah, is blockchain. Blockchain, and it's not, and it's not influenced by devaluation of a. Of a fiat, of a fiat currency, you know. I understand during the '70s we got off of the gold, gold back standard. Yeah, that's I. You know more than I do on that regard. Yeah. So, um, I, I think you have two different camps, but describe the camps for me. Well, I, I think you have people who are there are people who read the news. Yeah. Off of CNN, MSNBC, NBC, and uh, those are the people. I personally think generally who think that Bitcoin is say not a rep is a reputable currency. Yeah, like a reputable investment. They're just gonna they're gonna investment. You got your CNBC people, you know, like with like with Game Stonks that yeah that think that dude this 
this thing is just not crazy. Do not buy into this. It, uh, you'll lose money so, and whatnot. So you've heard people comparing Bitcoin to the to the GME craze. Uh, is that what yeah. is that what I'm hearing? Uh, to the GME craze, yeah. Or we're influenced by it. Oh, or or that's influencing people to look at Bitcoin more. They're like, hey, I missed out on GME. Yeah. Here's Bitcoin. Yeah. That was episode five of What the Bitcoin. Return tomorrow to see episode 5.5, where we continue speaking with Benjamin and hearing what he has to say in regards to Bitcoin. Be sure to subscribe here, watch the next video, like, comment below, and I look forward to interviewing you guys tomorrow.